this dream that uh, the Word of Life headquarters or the school that I went to, their headquarters were at the library in my town. And I have I have personally applied to be an intern there next year, and I really, really want the job. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get it. But I, uh, in my dream, I went to the headquarters, except, okay, it wasn't the headquarters. It was like a sub-headquarter, because the headquarters was still in New York. So I went there, and I was sitting around pretty much all day long waiting for them to tell us who got the internships or whatever. And I did this for like days and days, and oh, in my dream, I joined like a ton of collab channels, trying to like make friends <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> That's what I did while I was waiting to find out. I joined bunches of collab channels, and so I, I finally like it was this office building, but I. And I would walk around and just walk around for like days and then finally I found The Rock. Dwayne The Rock Johnson was there, but he like worked for Word of Life. And I was like, The Rock, will you tell me something? He's like, what? I'm like, well, I sent my resume to Jason Headley and I emailed Jason Headley, but he never got back to me. And I wanted, I was applying for an internship, but I don't even know if he ever got my paperwork. And Dwayne The Rock Johnson was like, well, I know that he got your paperwork and I was like oh good and he, I'm like just as long as he got it you know and he's like but I'm afraid that there isn't a position for you at Word of Life next year and I was like oh and I was like crushed absolutely crushed like if I like I would be really sad if I don't get to work there next year but um uh, buh, 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 buh. oh, so I was crushed, and apparently somewhere in my dream it changed from being Word of Life headquarters to being um, College Humor headquarters, and for some reason I was <laughs> naked. I I don't know why. I've never really been. I've never really had one of those dreams where I just was naked, but it wasn't an embarrassing naked because I had like I was naked, but I had this comforter that I had wrapped around me so that um, people didn't see me naked. I would just was naked with a comforter around me. And so I walked outside of the building because I was going to go home because I knew that there was no reason for me to hang around anymore because I wasn't going to get a job at College Humor because now I was, it, my brain switched it over so I was trying to get a job at College Humor. And outside was Jeff Rubin of College Humor, and he was putting on this, like, Christian program for children, and, like, because outside of my library is this big park, so he was standing on the stairs doing this, like, program with stories and games and stuff like that for children and their parents, and there's, like, this nice, good-sized crowd, and apparently he did that every single day during his lunch for an hour and a half, like, um, told kids about Jesus, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm in love with Jeff Rubin. And so, yeah, here's definitely my subconscious coming out, because I have a huge crush on Jeff Rubin. I just think he is so cute. And, uh, so, the, so I, I, he was like, he needed something to entertain people, and so he was like, Meredith, and he had a couple other people helping him, like, uh, Dan Gerwich was there, and, uh, Amir was probably there, and they were out there helping him, and he was like, Meredith, I need somebody to entertain people, will you come and just, like, do this dance in front of them, and I'm like, Jeff, I'm naked and wearing a, a comforter around me, <laughs> I'm like, and I was just like laughing. I'm like, that's kind of ridiculous. And he's like, I don't care. It's fine. It's fine. Just dance. They'll think it's funny. And I was like, okay. So in my comforter, I just like danced back and forth for the all these people, and they loved it. They absolutely loved it. And I was like, I was like, Jeff, is this even like word of life kosher? Because apparently we were word of life again. <laughs> How does someone confuse Word of Life with college humor? 
if you don't know what World of Life is, they are a religious organization. They have the Bible school that I went to, and if you don't know what college humor is, I will put links to both of them in the sidebar. <laughs> so, uh, so then when it was all over and people left, I had really enjoyed myself because I, I really do love doing like evangelism and stuff on the street and putting on programs for kids and everything. It's a lot of fun, and I had a, I have a crush on Jeff Rubin, so I was like, Jeff, what do you think if I came back and helped you on my lunch break? Because literally he was within walking distance of my house, this headquarters, was within walking distance of my house. I was like, what if I come and help you every day? And he was like, sure, that'd be great. So I came back the next day in clothing, obviously, and I helped him out. And then, so I was doing that for a while, just trying to get, trying to, like, just really enjoying myself and everything like that. And then, um, I, and then f Jeff invited me inside to come, like, watch them tape one of their skits or no 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 I'd be getting really close with Jeff before Dwayne The Rock Johnson told me that there wasn't going to be a job opening for me because when I found out there wasn't going to be a job opening for me I found Jeff in the building he's sitting in a bed because they had beds there because they stayed there a lot like they did a lot of late nights or anything like that so they had um, a couple of bedrooms for people to like sleep or watch TV or whatever and so I remember he was laying in a he was like in a bed watching TV and apparently he was my boyfriend by this point Jeff Rubin was my boyfriend oh my gosh <laughs> oh my subconscious and uh I and I found out that I wasn't going to be able to get a job, and so I I found him in the bed or whatever, but I, I had like my knees on the floor, my head on the bed, and I started to cry and cry, and I remember thinking I was crying to Jeff, and then Dan was like, what's the matter? I'm like, oh, Dan, sorry, I'm looking for Jeff. But Jeff was just on the other side of Dan. So I crawled over Dan, and I was sitting next to Jeff in the bed, and then he made me feel better by kissing me, and I, was, I miss Jeff Rubin. <laughs> He's so amazingly attractive <laughs> to me.